Welcome back to another video. Today you join me in this beautiful studio. We're set up in a slightly different way uh, just to bring you some value, you know, show you more aspects in terms of where properties are located and how the prices are varying and what the market is doing. We've got the two e transactions. So let's start off with sales. We've had a total of 22 transactions in the last 13 weeks, and they've happened between 3.76 million to 4.7 million dirhams. So quite a big price difference there. Uh, one thing that we do have to remember is that all of these transactions have physically gone to transfer. So these are completed transactions. You know, with a mortgage, um, it's going to take anything between six, even up to about 12 weeks, um, if there's any liability to settle on the seller side uh, to get these through. So just be aware of that when we're having a look through. Rental wise, we've seen 50 transactions and they've happened between 240 and 260,000. So there's a very small gap there and I've eliminated all the renewals. You know, anyone that's renewed from a, you know, a COVID uh, rent, something that was rented at a much lower value, just to give us a, you know, good indication there. So prices are going up. Rental prices, not so much. So it's going to be interesting to see how the market progresses. Are we going to see, you know, the rental prices go up? Are we going to see the sale prices go down? Because essentially, you know, investors are not getting as much of a, a return on investment because the rental prices are the same. But we are going into summer. So that's something to factor in as well. The market is a little bit slower you know, essentially when the new school, school year starts or just before it, are we going to see lots of people coming here? And then that would, you know, essentially bring the price up a little uh, because of more demand. So let's go through the transactions. Uh, number 33 sold at 4.05 million, 3,011 square foot. So anything around 3,000 square foot is basically an average size plot. Anything bigger will be, you know, a larger plot because of where it is in the community. So it's an interesting location. I think the great thing about it is you've got the tennis courts over here. Um, so you've got quick access there just coming out of your front door. On the back side, uh, maybe not, not so much of a good location because you have the petrol station. Um, but then you do have a large pathway behind. So it's really personal preference at that point. Two properties here that sold, these are on the camel track. So there's a jogging track that goes between Maple 1 all the way to Maple 3. 201 and 193 sold. Very standard sort of plot sizes, just slightly bigger than average. Uh, 4.2 million and 4 million. So let's have a look at the next one, 544. That is a great unit, a 3,053 square foot, rented at 220,000. So a little bit less than the market value till May 24. Let's have a closer look at that location. So that's between Maple 1 and 2. And of course, you've got landscaping that goes all the way down here. And you can quickly join to the center green belts going straight to the pool. It is a corner unit. So the side of the property would face that green belt. So it would feel quite open. So I would say that's a great, great buy, especially where the market transacting now. So having a look at the having a look at Maple Two, as you can see, there's lots of things going on here. But just on the other side of that, we had this property sell. That's number forty six, uh, larger plot, four point six million, three thousand five hundred and seven, back in this green belt. It's a great location, and with the bigger plot, that's definitely a justified price. Having a look at this one, again, it's a green belt unit. So it backs onto this green belt, one of the last green belts in the community. And we've had quite a few transactions, so we'll just go through them. So 313, 4.4 4 million. 328 at 3.76 million. I think we have to bear in mind that that would have been an older transaction. And we, we're, of course, relying on the information provided by DLD. So, you know, if there was any discounts, for instance, if the rent was taken off the sales price because it wasn't being returned, um, that would have, of course, you know, adjust the price. So we just have to be aware of these sort of things. 
Uh, you've got two more transactions, 332 and 336 on the same green belts, 4.2 and 4.2 million. And then moving over here, you have two more properties that are sold. So you have 4.1 for 283 and 582 that sold at 4.2 as well. So you can see generally a lot, lot of action at around 4.1, 4.2. You've got some higher transactions here. You can see you know, these two corner units um, in the community. This one, of course, one green belt higher. That sold for 4.7 million. And then this one just below at 4.55. That's a big plot, that one. You know, massive plot, 3,671 square foot. You know, the extra space gives you a lot of options in terms of what you can do with the property, you know, adding pools, you know, a more advanced landscaping. So it's really interesting. So having a look at Maple 3, we've got the 2E transactions. Uh, 4.2 million, that was achieved for number 127. That's on a back-to-back -back section of the community up to 4.3 for 115 then we have on the center green belt so that one joins up with the pool uh, 374 that was a slightly larger than average plot and uh, great location this this property itself obviously west is in this direction so you get a lot of the afternoon sun again personal preference something backing towards the community center uh, much larger plot wow that's a great buy you know, 3,939 square foot, you get that, you know, extra space because of the way that the the row actually turns. So rented at 175,000 till July 23. I would probably say that this is probably the best, um, the best buy uh, so far. Of course, you know, prices have moved up. So I wouldn't rely on getting something at the same sort of price point. But great unit. Unit 300 sold at 3.95, a superb transaction, uh, superb property even, 3,066 square foot. So slightly larger than average, but if you have a look at the location, that's an elevated plot and it looks over the park. Really beautiful location. I've sold a few properties over there. And then we have 329, which is just here, and then... 231 that sold just here and those sold for four and 3.85 million coming onto the camel track we've got 251 that sold 251 sold at 4.15 million and that was slightly larger than average on the camel track the jogging track at the back of the community so that's it really uh, we've gone through all of the transactions everything that's happened in the last 13 weeks it's going to be very very interesting to see what what actually happens moving forward you know we've seen a lot of um, a lot of action a lot of people coming in to dubai looking to buy especially in you know the maple community i'm finding personally that a lot of these people are working in difc they're working in these uh, sort of areas downtown so dubai hills offers you know the perfect location for them are we going to see prices, you know, move up? I think the standard sort of price point now is about 4.2 uh, million for something that can be vacant soon. Of course, you know, if you've got a, one that's rented still at a low rent, you're not going to achieve as much. But, you know, you could see some of these larger properties uh, with larger plots going for, as you've seen, 4.5, 4.6 even. Um, but, of course, time will tell. Uh, this was just to give you a, a full insight of you know where the market is and what is happening. If you did enjoy the content, feel free to like and subscribe. And of course, if you had any questions about Dubai Hills or generally in terms of real estate in Dubai, have a look in the description below where I've left my contact number and you can contact me on WhatsApp. Thank you for watching. Take care.